that's right. Again, Tokyo Central. Hi. I got I got a lot of cat here. See the black thing you know, like on the um, black pants and the cat is no good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Tortilla chips because, well, this is a Japanese restaurant. That's good. What all did you get in it? Well, masago and then um, scallop, tuna, and the hamachi. What I got here is a calpico boba. The boba are these little tapioca pearls at the bottom of the drink. And this is really popular here in Southern California, um, mostly from all the different various Asian countries that are here. This isn't Japanese, but the cow pico, yeah, that is Japanese. Um, and it's not called cow pico in Japan. It's called cow piss. Yes, that's right, cow piss. And so that's why when they brought it to this country, they really needed to change the name of it, so they changed it to Calpico. C A L P I C O. Yeah, this is a governor melon soda, melon cream soda. You see the ice cream here? Then also the melon, like a, you know, like a, how is it, a salt, melon soda, you know, like flavor? I don't find a melon soda flavor here, so then I had it. Well, I think there's a reason for that, and that's that the Japanese love melon, but it's really expensive there. A melon can cost you fifty to hundred dollars. So if they can make it into a soda, it costs less. Yet you can still enjoy the flavor. Is that right? Yeah, right. Yep. Okay, I'm trying the melon soda. This is the equivalent of the. the it looks like um, a honeydew melon to me by the color. It's green, but I'll find out. Oh, here it, say, here it says, Uki Uki Furoto. What's Furoto, Jin? No. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak katakana. But anyhow, what, what's Uki Uki? That's like a happy happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll be happy when we drink this. Okay, this is how you um, drink one of these. You get a straw with a pointed end. You go, there we go. And then you start drinking. And as you drink, a piece of bubble comes up. So now you get to see Manor Chan drinking calcus. Fruity. Looks 
just like a column, right? It's like a tube, something in the hand, and what's going to be the taste? <laughs> well, it's a creamy blueberry something. <laughs>